Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today, we are going to make a Java project on cleaning man clinic management system. Okay, let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE. You can choose any IDE of your choice and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am passing an object of clinic class. It is a GUI form. So to create one, we need to go over here in the project package, click on new, then click on Swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated. This dot Java file for the code and this dot form file for the designing of the interface. Uh, let's see the R interface first. These are the J labels which I have uh, chosen from the palette over here and uh, the, these are the text fields. This is a J panel for the date. Okay, uh, This panel uh, consists of a border layout and I have named it as date panel. This is a combo box and uh, this is a J label which I have set to 500 initially. Uh, okay, and name this uh, name given the heading as clinic management system. This is my table, J table, and uh, do not forget to add the J table under the J scroll pane. These are two buttons for adding and updating the record, and uh, this is for maintaining the total amount. Okay, initially it is set to zero. Let's uh, check our code. Okay, this is my class. This uh, data fields will be added automatically. And this is uh, my uh, object of JFrame class. This is the JDate chooser. And for this JDate chooser, you need to add uh, one uh, RAR file. So for that, you need to go over here in the file, then go into the project structure. Then under modules, go over here to add and then add your jar file. I have already added one. So uh, for this, uh, project you need to add the uh, connector this mysql connector because we are having the uh, data from our sql okay and this uh, j calendar rar file okay so after doing this this object of uh, jdate chooser is uh, passed through this this date panel which i have set to, to border layout okay so pass uh, this date, uh, date chooser object to this panel and then these are the code that you will require uh, whenever you uh, instantiate this object of clinic class your form this form will appear okay so you need to add your panel name this j panel over here in the set content pane and then uh, uh, set this to true in set visible method and uh, this uh, set location relative to pass null over here so that uh, your frame appears in the center of the screen whenever you run this program. Let's check our uh, buttons. So uh, you, you need to add a listener to this button. So clear, right click over here, then click on create listener. Okay, your listeners will be created. This is for the add button. Uh, let's check this functionality. Okay, what I'm doing here is uh, checking if the values the, that the user uh, need to pass here, if it's null or not. If it's null, then pass the message. Please fill all fields to add record. And if it's not, then we need to take the uh, take the files. Uh, we need to take the message to the uh, data database that we have created. Okay, the database name is uh, the table which i have created in our database is name as clinic okay so we need to add all the data into this table so i am this is my string uh, my query which i am using so i am using a prepared statement so for that you, are, you need to use the syntax with this question marks values as question marks and then building the connection first okay pass the url uh, and uh, the username and the password and then the, I am setting my date, which I have the user has chosen from the calendar. I am formatting it in the same way that, that the user sees. Okay. 
you will understand when i run this code and uh, if the fields that in the data uh, in the table which you have created in your database is integer type so you need to uh, call this function set integer to set the values and if it's string then you need to call set string method okay then pass your column index okay at which column you need to update it or set it so this is i am using this set integer to set the values of patient id okay uh, patient id as my first column so i am calling this method count plus one okay this count method is over here let me show you okay this is the count method what i am doing here is uh, first uh, initializing the counter variable as zero and then building the connection to the same uh, table the database and uh, calling this uh, query this query uh, select patient id from clinic okay so it will uh, check all the patient ids uh, whichever uh, which is stored in the database okay and i am storing it in this result set so I am just uh, looping it. So if there is any any uh, uh, data in the database, so it will be stored in the variable counter as integer. Okay, as uh, I have kept this patient ID as integer type. Okay, so R is dot get int whatever the value stored under the uh, column index it will stored in the variable counter okay if there is none so the counter remains at zero okay this counter will be returned in by this method count so let's uh, move over here okay count plus one if the, there is no data in the database then it will return zero and the patient id will be set to one and if there is any data let's say there are two uh, two fields, uh, two names of the patients are already there. Okay, so there uh, next, whenever you uh, click this button, add button to enter the next data. So uh, the first entry will be set to three. Okay, the count will return two and plus one, so three. So entry will be uh, set. Uh, with the patient ID as 3 and then the name the age the date you have entered and formatting it in the same way first and then the string slot dot get selected item to fifth index which is this slot okay this is my uh, data which I am storing the patient ID the name the age the appointment and the slot okay and after storing it I am calling this uh, method execute update then this uh, uh, message will be popped up that details are added successfully. I am setting all the fields to null and catching exception if there is any and passing the message uh, in the dialog box and calling this table data method, which is uh, uh, taking all the retrieving all the data from the database and showing it in the this table J table. And then this is uh, I am setting the total to uh, whatever the amount is so if there are three patients so it will get the count as three and for each patient the consultation fee is 500 so 5 into 3 1500 will be the total which uh, for the uh, I, uh, total amount that is collected in the clinic okay and this is my update button this is the listener for the update button I am passing this query update cleaning and uh, updating all the records name the age and uh, the appointment date and the slot okay according to the patient id and uh, then building the connection similar connection and uh, using prepare statement to execute the query then uh, uh, executing this uh, method execute update then uh, popping the message updated successfully catching error if there is any and calling the same method table data okay this is my listener so to add a listener you need to go over here in the table right click over here then click on create listener and then click on mouse listener okay and then click on okay your mouse listener will be added so what it does that uh, uh, we need to call this method get selected row 
to get the uh, index of the row and uh, this is uh, I'm calling this method get model and setting it to the type of default table model okay these two information are required so I am uh, whenever the user clicks on any particular row okay so at particular row and particular column that value is extracted and then set it to the particular uh, text field you want okay for example this text field is name data so name data dot set text okay i am calling this uh, method which is stored over here dm dot get value add it takes the rows and column as parameter so selected row we are getting it from here the get selected row method and the column name we set the column name whichever column we have stored the name okay and then uh, uh, passing it to string and then uh, passing this whole to set text similarly with the age okay and then uh, this is my table data method I am just calling select all from cleaning the whole data and passing it to the result set uh, storing it or uh, everything in the result set and then calling set model to our table and passing this uh, this method this method I have created on my own but uh, instead of this method you can use dbutils dot result set to table model method it works in the same way and pass your result set to that method and that's it I am catching the error if there is any okay let's see how our program runs okay the, uh, this is the interface let's add one thing uh, one patient date of appointment okay okay this is the date so there are two patients so my total amount is set to thousand okay this is the data which is stored and uh, for updating it you need to click and then under this if you want to change the date okay it gets changed okay okay this is it i hope you understood the working of the code Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas.